And as he was troubled thereabout, he espied two men come tumbling over the wall on the left of the narrow way. Uh, uh, with you. Now the name of the one was Formalist. You make it down all right? And the name of the other was Hypocrisy. Aye, <laughs> down I am. Good. Let's be on our way. They soon drew near unto Christian, who thus entered with them into discourse. Gentlemen, whence from and whither bound? We were born in the land of vainglory. And we both be bound for praise to Mount Zion. But why came you not in at the gate, which standeth at the beginning of the way? Gate? What gate? The wicked gate, manned by a great one named Goodwill. Tis too far out of our way. What? Know ye not that it is written? He that cometh not in by the door, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber? That by no means applies to us. No, not us. Everyone from the land of vain glory, whence we be come, are in agreement that the way back to the wicket gate be too far. Therefore, it is that we follow the custom of our people, and have taken a shortcut over the wall. But will it not be counted a trespass against the lord of the city whither we are bound, thus to violate his revealed will? Thou need not trouble thy head about that. Why not? Because what we do we have custom for. Custom? Yes, custom. Custom long-standing. If you should require it of us, we could produce testimony that our custom is over 1,000 years old. Indeed. Indeed. But will it stand a trial at law? There can certainly be no doubt in any rational mind that a custom which has so ably withstood the passage of time and which has served to get so many into the way could surely only be counted legal by any impartial judge. And besides, if we get into the way, what matter is it which way we get in? But no buts to it. To be in is to be in. Oh, I don't know. Listen to logic, friend. Thou art in the way, correct? Oh, surely, aye. Now thou camest in at the gate, correct? Aye. And we came tumbling over the wall, correct? Aye. You are in the way. We are in the way. Now how doth our condition differ? How art thou better than us? Chiefly in this. I walk by the rules laid down by my master, while you walk by the rude working of your fancies. Tis custom! You are counted thieves already by the lord of the way. Therefore do I doubt you will be found to be true men at the end of the way. Did you hear? Thieves he calls us. What nerve! Tis true. You came in by yourselves without his direction, and you shall go out by yourselves without his mercy. So sayest thou. So sayest he. Watch thee out where thou puttest thy nose, friend. It is like to be bent. Aye, best look thee out to thine own self. And leave fellow travelers to their own peace and safety.